Everyone dies someday. And between one quarter and one third of Americans say they're prepared for it years ahead of time. They've purchased items such as internment plots, headstones, even caskets and urns. But the best laid plans can still go wrong, according to consumer advocates. In New York, uh, Pennsylvania, there's two cemeteries went out of business. All that consumer money's gone. They just didn't trust it. They took the money, they told the consumer, yes, we're trusting the money, but they didn't do it. The problem, consumer advocates say, is Pennsylvania laws designed to protect consumers are weak and allow some operators to take advantage of loopholes. If there was a trust fund set up for the consumers, even though the cemetery went out of business, there'd be money for the, the, for the consumer, even though that owner went out of business. So if you're going to be planning or pre-planning your funeral and work with the funeral home, there are some guidelines in place and you need to pay attention to the details, but it's very clear. Funeral homes must place all pre-need deposits into trust, but not cemeteries. You really have to look at the business and there's less protections for consumers. When you get your contract, you need to distinguish the difference between constructive delivery and prepay. Constructive delivery, where you actually purchase the things that you need in advance. You're gonna be buying a casket now at today's rate. You put it into storage. You wanna have, cons you have concerns about where is that gonna be in storage? Is it gonna be maintained? Could it be damaged? What happens if something gets lost? Their headstone's not there, their vault's not there, their casket might not be there. That's, the, that's what's so important about this, is to have that trust fund. A bill in the Pennsylvania House would amend a 1963 law that would essentially ban constructive delivery. The bill has faced opposition from a trade group representing cemeteries and crematoriums and the Federal Trade Commission, which contend it will reduce competition and drive up prices. Funeral home owner and longtime Senator Tom Lee Tomlinson says the bill protects consumers. It re-emphasizes and re-clarifies what they did in the, in the 60s when they said that when you do a pre-need purchase of cemetery or funeral home merchandise and you're a cemetery, you trust 70% of the money for the consumer and you're allowed as a cemetery to take 30%. The big point is if you spend all the consumer's money today and don't save any money for the future, there might not be any money. This is Joe Chevalier reporting from Bucks County for the Bucks County Courier-Times.